in this numerical i'll just explain the numerical for you the question says in a hydraulic lift the input piston has surface area of 20 cm square the output piston has surface area this you can see the number here is less and the number here is more the more area means which is that the wider the uh, area and this is the narrower part if a force of 50 newton is applied to the input so in the input side this side you apply 50 newton it raises the output piston by 2 meter so that will move up by 2 meter convert the weight of the support and on the output piston and this problem that means uh, we have to find the force that is uh, applied on uh, that uh, is experienced in the this side of the piston basically the question says that uh, i'll just explain and write the solution for you it is a solution to question number three that uh, the situation is like this this is the wider area and this is a little smaller area of cross section this is a uh, 20 centimeter square given area so this is a one and here this area is a two which is uh how much is this given thousand centimeter square the force that is applied here is a uh, 50 newton is here the input here the force f1 is uh, 50 newton okay and uh, some mass is placed over here and uh, when you apply push this okay push this piston here it uh, carries this it moves this uh, mass up or something like this by a distance of uh, two meter when you push this this moves up uh, for that that thing here uh, is suppose f2 so it moves up uh, by two meter so the question is uh, but the weight of the support on output piston what is the weight here weight of the support the weight of the support is that now we know that f1 by a1 is always f2 by a2 this is from pascal's law from pascal's law we know that the pressure that is experienced at the both the case will remain same so f1 by a4 f1 by a1 here and f2 by a2 here will remain same so from here we'll get f2 you can see how much is f2 f2 will be into it okay now everything is uh, given to us and put the value and see how much uh, f2 we are getting here how much force uh, you, that is uh, applied here that we see this comes out to be f1 is uh, 50 this is your f1 50 but by a1 is uh, 20 and this is how much so therefore uh, this is uh, 50 okay so that means uh, 2500 uh, this is a centimeter square this is a newton so this will be newton so 2500 newton now what is the question see the question again it raises the output piston by 2 meter calculate the weight of the support weight of the support is uh, the force that it experiences and uh, it moves the piston by 2 meter it has to be mentioned here that it very slowly so and also to find the work done the weight of weight is found to be 2500 and uh, this moves up by 2 meter so this force is moving this by 2 meter so work done will be force that is applied and the displacement uh, that is occurring this is 2 meter so 2500 into 2 that is uh, 5000 uh, um, newton into this meter that is your joule so that is uh, 5 kilojoule of work is done so this 5 kilojoule of work is done in the when this is uh, the input piston the output piston here the input piston is given a force of 50 newton that uh, force is uh, multiplied uh, 50 times 50 times uh, why it is 50 times because uh, the force and area are directly proportional the, if the area is uh, 50 times the force will also become 50 times so that is uh, 2500 so this is the force that is experienced here and this force will uh, if it moves very slowly from this point to this point through a displacement of uh, 2 meter that means uh, when uh, without any kinetic energy without any acceleration then uh, the 
total change in kinetic energy is equal to the water because it is not uh, uh, is moving with constant velocity. The work is done with constant velocity, there is no acceleration and the velocity here it moves like this smoothly to 2 meter. That means uh, we maintain the velocity constant. If the velocity is constant, then the change in velocity that is the change in kinetic energy uh, equals to work done. The work energy theorem states that uh, uh, work done that we find uh, F into S is equal to the change in kinetic energy because the change in kinetic energy is zero. So the work done uh, we can find here as uh, <coughs> so by this and this uh, uh, is like this. Okay. Okay. Students will take one more numerical that is uh, number four. Here you are uh, supposed to find the kinetic energy for the unit mass, total kinetic energy for unit mass of a liquid flowing. Just let me write down the question for you. Find the total kinetic energy, total energy for unit mass. Total energy per unit mass <coughs> uh, possessed by water at a point <coughs> possessed by water at a point where the pressure is 0 0.1 10 to 5 newton per meter square. Meter square velocity is 0 0.02 meter per second. And height of the water level uh, from the ground is uh, 10 centimeter. Ten centimeter. Density water uh, is uh, known to all that is thousand kg per meter cube and uh, g is 9.8 meter per second square so we will write that as well if you want uh, density is uh, of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and uh, g we take uh, 9.8 or you can take 10 uh, meter per second square okay just i'll write uh, 10 meter per second square you can solve the question Now, total energy per unit mass is asked to you. Total energy per unit mass formula is uh, P by rho plus half uh, uh, V square. P by rho plus half V square plus GH, this is the total energy per unit mass. You have to add them up to get the answer. P is the pressure uh, and the height, uh, the pressure you define, and then the height uh, and the velocity, these are all taken into account. So, pressure here is given as uh, 0 0.1 10 to 5, which is a 10 to 4. So, it is 10 to 4. Here, the density of uh, water is to be 1000 to 10 to 3 here plus half of uh, v square v is a uh, 0 0.02 to raised to 2 10 to minus 2, which is uh, 4 uh, 10 to minus 4. G I have taken as uh, this plus, this G I have taken as 10, and H I have taken 10 centimeter above this. So, this is uh, 10 centimeter is uh, 10 to minus 1 meter. So this is uh, 1 by 10, 1 by 10 meter. This cancel out this will be 1 here. And uh, this is 2 10 to minus 4. This is 10. So what you are getting here is uh, you can uh, so 10 to 4 divided by 10 to 3 becomes 10. Plus the next term is uh, 2 10 to minus 4. And then the last term is 1. So this is uh, 11 plus 0 0.0002. Okay. 
so this is uh, 11.002 is the answer to this question uh, therefore uh, <coughs> g for uh, unit uh, mass is actually it is uh, joule per kilogram is the answer to this question okay thank you